Hi everyone, Iron Senpai here, about to drop some knowledge on you about a little known condition called cryptic pregnancy. Imagine this, you wake up and your stomach hurts and you feel awful and you just know something's wrong. So you go to the doctor and after many tests, they come back and inform you you're eight months pregnant. Let that sink in. If you found yourself in this situation, you would have a condition known as cryptic pregnancy. So what is cryptic pregnancy? Cryptic pregnancy is the name for a pregnancy carried to term or almost to term without the person knowing they're pregnant at all. How common is it? Studies show that one out of 475 people or thereabouts find themselves with this condition. I'm sure by now you're asking yourself, how is this possible? How can you not know that you're pregnant? Shouldn't there be signs? With cryptic pregnancy, pregnancy symptoms like nausea and abdominal swelling are either absent or greatly reduced, meaning a lot of people think, oh, I'm not feeling so great. Maybe it's indigestion. Maybe it's this ulcer I have or a variety of other things. In addition to the fact that many cryptic pregnancies involve fetuses that are underweight, although healthy, the fetus also doesn't produce a whole lot of human growth hormone, which is what pregnancy tests look for and respond to. So you may even take tests and they come back negative because there's so little of that hormone to give a positive result. Now, the big one that people talk about is, how did this person not notice they weren't menstruating? That's usually a big sign, right? Well, many people have irregular or light periods anyways. Many of my own friends can go months without having a period, and that's normal for them. It can be caused by weight gain, weight loss, dietary changes, stress, or other physical conditions. Once every 28 days, like clockwork, isn't as common as you might think. Additionally, many pregnant people experience light bleeding at regular intervals, which can mean, you know, regular for them. Every couple months, there is a little bit of blood. And that's easily confused with a light period, even though that's not what it is. The next question people have is, well, why wasn't this person practicing safe sex? Contraceptives fail. If you miss a pill, you can end up pregnant. If you have an IUD and it's not functioning properly, you can end up pregnant. The tiniest little hole in a condom can lead to pregnancy. Contraceptives fail, plain and simple. So someone having a cryptic pregnancy does not mean they were not practicing safe sex. The last thing I want to talk to you about is what do you do when a friend or family member finds themselves pregnant and it's a cryptic pregnancy? You really shouldn't say things like, oh, you're so lucky, your pregnancy was so easy, or I'm so jealous of you. Even overly congratulatory statements can be upsetting to someone with a cryptic pregnancy. Think back to what I asked you to imagine at the beginning of this video. How would you feel if it happened to you? I'm sure some of you would be really happy. You know, you wanted a baby, you weren't expecting it, but you did want a baby. Or you would be so happy to suddenly find yourself a parent. Not everyone feels that way. And not everyone who gives birth after a cryptic pregnancy is going to not want that child either. That's not what I'm saying. I would never say that children born this way were unwanted. That's not the case. But your friend or family member is probably feeling very confused, hurt, scared, 
and maybe even angry. It's a huge life change. And when you suddenly find yourself in labor or, you know, eight months pregnant, you have very few options and very, very little time to decide what you're going to do. There's a lot of conversation that needs to happen between the person and their partner, their family members. So saying that you're jealous or it's a miracle and they should be happy is not necessarily the wisest course of action. It's okay to be happy and it's okay to not be so happy. What should you do if a friend or family member is going through a cryptic pregnancy? It's pretty simple. You should offer support. Make sure they can get to their doctor's appointments and that they have all the supplies they would need if they need someone to talk things through with. Or just simply saying, I support you whatever you choose. That would be a good place to start. And I promise your friend or family member will tell you what they need. And that would be the best way to help. So thank you for watching this video. And I'm glad I could share what I learned with you because this actually just happened to my best friend. And to her, I would like to say, I love you, sweetheart. And you're going to be just fine, okay?